a piece of advice. Please advise me what to do. In this video, we'll understand common ways to say and use advice and advise and stop confusing them. Hi, I'm Kathy, and I love to chat and talk in English. And I'm here with my good friend, Caroline. Hi, I'm Caroline, and I'm an English teacher specializing in English as a second language. After we've sorted out these confusing words, we have a little challenge for you. So keep watching. First, let's look at advice. Advice is a noun as something and is usually information, suggestions, opinions or recommendations. One or more of those. Here is an example of advice. When learning to skateboard, I suggest you protect your knees in case you fall and hurt them. We can say the word like this, advice, or like this, advice. As a native English speaker, I nearly always say advice. And if someone says advice, then it's fine. I completely understand. So here is how I say it, advice. And now you try it. Good. To learn more about speaking English naturally, check out the link in the description below. There are lots of things you can do with advice. You can request advice, give advice, receive advice, discuss advice and so on. Let's look at a few examples. When requesting advice, make sure to say why you are asking for advice. Let's imagine Sarah discussing plans for the coming weekend with her friend. What should I do? I've agreed to visit my mother for the weekend. But now I want to go to Alex's party on Saturday. Sarah wants her friend's advice. She wants their opinions on what to do this weekend. Go to the party or visit her mother. In addition to what should I do, Sarah can ask her friend for advice starting with, do you think? Do you think I should visit my mother or go to the party? Or do you have any ideas? Do you have any ideas about what I should do? And the friend might give advice like this. Well, Sarah, my advice is to take your mother to the party. Do you know that you can also give a piece of advice to someone? The phrase a piece of advice always makes me think of a piece of cake because it's enough to appreciate, but not too much. For example, Here's a piece of advice for you. Don't talk about money with Aunt Edith. The advice is to avoid the subject of money when talking with Aunt Edith. Perhaps you can talk about food or the weather instead. Another phrase used when giving advice is a few words of advice like this. I have a few words of advice about your car. Check the oil, tires and brakes before you leave and fill up with petrol too. You can give advice using other expressions like these. Why don't you? You ought to. You should. What about? Hey, what about liking this video right now? Done? Thank you. How you receive advice depends on you and what you think of the advice. You might accept the advice. Oh, that's good advice. Thank you. Reject the advice. That doesn't sound right to me. Or ignore the advice. Now let's look at advise. Advise is a verb which means to give advice. Please advise me what to do means tell me what you think I should do. Advise is usually said like this advise, stressing the second syllable, advise. Now you try it. Good. When talking naturally, advise is often said as advise. Can you hear the difference? Advise, advise. Now you try it. Good. You can learn more about the uh sound in our uh video. Link in the description below. Now let's hear some examples using advise or advise. I advise you to keep working right up to your exams. 
This means I recommend you keep studying until you have taken the exam. After your exam, you can relax. Emily advises her to buy more red shoes. This means that Emily is giving her opinion. She even points out which red shoes to buy. The dentist advised Tom to clean his teeth morning and night. This means Tom should brush his teeth when he gets up and before he goes to bed. Please advise me which one to get. I'm asking you which one you think I should buy. He advises them to save their money. This means he thinks the best thing for them to do is save their money and not spend it. This seems a good suggestion, especially if they want to buy a house someday. Want to know more about the expression someday? Take a look at our time video, link in the description below. It's easy to confuse advice and advise. Why? Listen, the words sound similar. My advice is, I advise you to. And see, the words look similar. Advice has a C, advise has an S. And the meaning, advice and advise are about similar things. Advice is a suggestion, opinion, thought or recommendation, or several. And to advise is to give that advice. So can we help you to avoid confusing them? We suggest you learn the meanings of advice and advise by heart. And practice saying them. Advice, advise. Now, here is our challenge for you. Can you make a sentence with both advise and advice in it? Hmm. It could be something like this. I advise you to follow your family's advice. If you thought of a different sentence, please put it in the comments for us to see. We like the challenge of making a sentence with confusing words in it. And if you do too, see our results for dessert and desert and quiet and quiet. Links in the description below. A last piece of advice is to like this video, ding the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. So take care and see you in the next one. Goodbye.